Hello gardeners, Ed Snyder and Delia Snyder here with Fresh Picked Acres. In today's video, we're talking about how to make your own flagpole using native wood. Uh, when I was uh, on a trip earlier this year, I had access to some spruce trees and uh, the gentleman uh, had no problem letting me uh, cut a few of them down. I cut four of them down limbed them uh, at his farm and loaded them on my trailer and brought them home. I was inspired by going up to the Mackinac uh, Island up in the Upper Peninsula and I went to the uh, uh, Mackinac Island Fort that was first established to protect the fur trade and um, I saw they were using native, native spruce, pine, or uh, fur for their flagpoles and I thought that'd make a wonderful uh, flagpole for our home so I brought four of them home with me and um, uh, I'm going to show you from start to finish uh, how I get the poles prepared uh, and um, get them set up so stay with me and like always uh, please hit that like button and that subscribe button and until we meet again great gardening so taking our draw knife we're going to want to work uh, starting at one end pretty self-explanatory there but I think you're going to be surprised at how easy this comes off but you're simply going to just pull and when I, where I have this stump and I can take my axe and kind of help it but I can get this through this there we go let's go the other way through the tree knots there we go so just keep on running that file right on down go through them knots Continue working. Hell, rascal's in there. Finally, there we go. Let's rotate it. Here we are. I hewed the wood off of them. Then I turned right around. I put a, I set the poles fresh cut into some wood preservative, 
just like a Christmas tree to get it to soak into it. It took up the uh, lint, uh, the wood preservative. And on the outside, I want to, you could paint these. You can make them white, whatever color you want. I chose to go with boiled linseed oil and I put three good applications. As a matter of fact, the last one didn't really go in very well. So I feel like I got the main poles covered. Now every year I'll have to do that. So uh, we have the spruce trees hewed. I also turned right around and I preserved them. And now it's just a matter of uh, the big days here. Let's get the flagpoles put together. Um, I'm going to go with a simple eye bolt uh, used uh, at the top of my pole to, uh, uh, to allow my rope to run through. And, you know, no pulley, nothing fancy there. But an, uh, unlike a lag bolt, or something like that. This one comes all, I'll be able to come and push it all the way through and just put a nut on the other side. So let's go ahead and get to the project and uh, keep going here. This is, uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. The first thing I wanna do here is come down about two inches off of my point with the, a drill bit that's, uh, a drill bit that's already picked out. Uh, for that size of a bolt I'm gonna come down a little bit more I think I got it There we are now, let's go ahead and get our bolt going through And we'll have to get it started because I did not put this where it was very tight or very loose. I want it nice and solid in here. There it goes. It's going. And I got a helper here. So we'll just put this in. This is nice and tight, I can tell you. It's just right. Here we go. We made it through. Let's go ahead and put that, start that. And I want to get this as snug as I can. And these, I want to make sure when I finish that the, the gap where they bend this is actually on the top side. So when the rope doesn't get a chance to get hung in there. The next thing I want to do here is run my string, my rope through it, through the eye. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And, and on top of it, I want three foot of my pole in the ground or as close to it as I can. Uh, I also want my uh, stave, uh, uh, my, my uh, uh, rope lock up about four foot uh, off the ground. So basically, given an extra foot or two, let's, let's take it down where this string's approximately about five foot from the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. Using our tape measure. Just 
going to make a simple knot. I wish I could tell you the name of this knot, but it's a simple knot. A friend of mine said it's the most powerful knot there is. It could be. So I have my rope. I'm going to go ahead and run this rope up because I'm going to steal some of this in the end. So let's put our knot uh, part, part of the way there. We have to make some simple uh, loops in our rope. So we're going to steal it from the bottom side so we can hang our flag. Our flag has grommets in it. Uh, that's what's going to hold it up. So, and I'm going to use some spring-loaded quick attach clips to this. And uh, that's what's actually going to hold this flag onto our, onto our mast, onto our rope. So the first one is going to be easy. This is, could be anywhere. So I'm going to bring it up. Turn it over. And let's cinch it. Just pull it up. Make a good tight knot. There we go. So I have a tight knot and I can use my quick link. I'll put that in. And then to know where my next one's going to go. We'll have to unfurl our flag a little bit here. There we are. So now I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And I know I need to put my second loop about down here. I think that will about do it. We'll see. And again, I'm, I'm bringing that knot closer to me. Let's see how we are. If I need to redo it, I will. Oh, I think we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape there. It looks like it's going to be fairly straight, so that's good. Yeah. There we go. So now I have a straight one. Now I want to put uh, a flag. Call it a company flag, a, uh, uh, a flag for your sporting, for your favorite team. <clears throat> I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan, so I want a flag. I want to hang underneath it here. So I'm going to come down about a foot. Let me go ahead and take this. Well, we'll leave that on. And I'm going to repeat the process about a foot down. And I'm going to have my team spirit flag. And I'm going to use a little different clip for this because it is a smaller flag. And for this. For this uh, small flag, I'm just going to use a small quick link. So let's run that through here. And we'll, put, we'll do this, we'll repeat the same process. It doesn't matter if it's up or down right now. All right, so I have that. Now I need to do the same thing, come down beyond it a little bit. And let's make another loop. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. So now I have it tight on both uh, flags now. So I will remove the flags. I will leave the links on here. The last job I have to do on this particular uh, flag staff is to go ahead and let's put our rope cleat in. So I'm going to measure this to seven feet because three foot in the ground and we'll come four foot off the ground for that. So let's go to seven foot. It's right there. I got it right where it, a knot is. So I'm gonna bring it back just a few inches below that uh, to not have to screw a nail into a knot. So I have my spot picked out and I wanna make sure that my, uh, 
my rope itself, uh, the, the, the eye bolt is lined up and on top. So I don't want them, I don't want to have the two of them sideways. So we'll start about right here. And uh, we're just going to screw these in. It takes just a little bit of pressure. And they'll go right into this spruce. There it's already going. And so we'll repeat uh, on the, it, it requires two screws, so we'll repeat again. And then the real hard work comes, we just have to dig our holes 30 inches deep. <laughs> okay, this finishes this up. Let's see how we do. We'll pull these up. There we are. up the mast here we are very good so now I have my rope cleats in We're, let's go dig a hole so I picked out my location where I want this flagpole and bef I want to urge you a word of caution to definitely call 811 uh, to check uh, where your ground wires are, uh, telephone poles, what, or telephone lines, whatever may be buried, water lines, call 811 and check it out. This site, we've done some previous work here, and there, and I also have uh, a, a, a barbed wire fence here, so it's a very safe place to be. Plus, there was nothing marked by the uh, utility company alerting me to where I want it to be. So I want mine next to this fence. And uh, we're using today a spade that helps break the ground up. And I'm using some post hole diggers, the original PhD. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I'll get going with this. And uh, we'll continue on after, uh, after I get it uh, chiseled down some. I think we about got it. I'm, I'm not going to be able to get down to, uh, I don't believe I can get down to three foot, but I can get down to 30 inches and I'm good with that. Uh, there's a lot of clay, which it'll make it good for packing, but it's actually kind of like concrete. There is 30 inches right there. Let's see how close I get. Oh. All right. I'm at 31 inches, maybe a little bit more if I just put a little more oomph into it. I didn't think I could get that deep, but that, I did get it broke loose. To set this flagpole, what I'm also using is a tamping rod. Weighs about 30 uh, to 40 pounds. I don't know the exact weight, but a solid piece of steel. So we'll set this up. The second thing is, I have a predominant wind here most of the year from the south. Uh, it may come southwest, but it's definitely coming by the south. So I'm gonna make sure that I have my uh, my, uh, 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 my eye on my uh, eye bolt facing the north. That way that it's not wrapping around the pole 90% of the time. We're gonna have it uh, facing north for that south wind, that southwest wind. So let's go ahead and get this thing up.
Here we go. Have it facing north. Let me go ahead and shove some dirt in here. Kick some dirt in. I'll worry about straightening a pole up here once I get a little more dirt around it. There we go. We got it halfway. Let me look at how straight I am. And this is, and this pole is, of course, not perfectly straight. So I can uh, kind of just look at it by my eye. And uh, there, by the way, everything's hanging on there. It looks pretty good straight up and down. Look at it from. It looks like it needs to kind of go toward the road a little bit. Let's put some more dirt in here. Let's look at it again. I think that's looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good. Maybe just a hair uphill. That looks pretty good. I think I'll get my tamp here. Let's start putting it in. All right. Got a lot of the dirt tamped. One more eyeball. I think I can go with it. All right. Go ahead and get some more dirt in. Tamp it in. Let the rain kind of press it in. It's time to check out our flagpole. Well, there we have it, there, uh, gardeners. I have my flagpole set up. Uh, actually, I have two flags set up on the one on either side of my driveway. It cost me no more than ten dollars in parts. Uh, there. Um, and the gas it took for me <laughs> to go uh, cut the trees down, I got them for free. Uh, I know they're going to last a lot longer than a lot of the flimsy uh, aluminum store-bought uh, flagpoles that you see at, uh, in, in the stores. So anyway, had a lot of fun doing this. Thanks for watching, gardeners, and you can do it too.